Hey, praise the Lord. This is Brother Clinton. Welcome to my living room once again. I just got a letter from a young disciple who is a teenager, and he wrote to me about rap, and uh, it's just a phenomenon in these last days that some people equate with music. And I, when I answered his letter, after I read my answer to him, I kind of felt like putting it in a video here so that I could address that issue in a video, and you've probably clicked on this video because of the title. So I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about rap, and, and this brother writes, is rap music bad? And he, um, let me go to his message. I'm on my PC here. Uh, when I when I regretfully sent you a song with rap, you told me the truth that it was horrible. Why is rap bad, Brother Clinton? I don't understand. Well, I'm going to read you my response to him, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about it. This was my response. Why is rap bad? Look at it. When you see a rap video, what do you see? I'll tell you what I see. I see men acting and walking like primates, even in the so-called Christian rap videos, because they are filled with devils. I see profanity and ungodliness. I see women being exploited and men touching their genitals and acting like dogs with the urge for sex. I see the gangland attire of Satan's armies, gang colors, pants sagging down exposing private parts, gang hand signs, angry proud scowls on their faces. I hear the drum beats of Satan like the headhunters in the jungle. When I watch people who are watching rap, I see them hypnotized, moving their heads and bodies in unison as if they are all owned by the same master and being pulled by the same strings, because they are. And here is what I don't see, holiness, righteousness, the gospel of Christ, any sound teaching at all, godliness, sobriety, gravity, sincerity, holy worship and spirit and truth, exaltation of Jesus Christ, preaching against sin. Rap is basically everything that God hates and nothing that he loves, period. It is entertainment for the wicked, and when it is falsely called Christian rap, all it is is entertainment for sinners who pretend that they are Christians. Just like Christian metal or any of the other entertainment that is used to draw people into the mainstream or the broad path in these last days. And then I wrote, I hope that helps little brother. Um, this brother that wrote is a teenager. He's actually 14 years old and he's very in touch with the Lord. He's filled with the Holy Ghost and very zealous for the things of the Lord. Rap. On a personal level, on a human level, um, being a musician, I've always kind of been offended by the term rap because it's not music at all. It's, it's an art form, but that's the reason why when you look at, uh, if you look at the television, you look at music awards nowadays, they're not, the people who perform and make records are not called musicians anymore. They're called artists because that's what they are. They get on the computer and they synthesize uh, an art form which they equate with music. And I guess loosely you could refer to it as music, but rap to me is not music. Uh, to me, music is you know Mozart, Beethoven, Vivaldi, Bach, Paganini. Those men were masters, and, and they wrote music. But the stuff that's called rap today is not music. It's it's mechanized. It's done with a computer, and the people who are doing the vocals are not vocalists. They're just talking. And um, on a on a human level, on a secular level, I don't consider rap to be music. I do consider it to be an art form, although I don't care for it, but I don't consider it to be music. A lot of times I, I tell people, I remember back in the old days when you used to have to be a musician to make a record. <laughs> you don't have to be a musician anymore to make a record. All you have to be is a technician. But that said, on, from a Christian standpoint, there's nothing Christian about rap, whether it professes to be Christian or not. Um, when I was young, just barely born again, I was exposed to a so-called Christian metal band called Striper. Michael Sweet, Robert Sweet, the brothers, and uh, a couple of other guys, they, Ozzy Fox and Timmy Gaines, and they formed this band called Striper. And I was very much into heavy metal then, and I'm still a musician, and I still I have electric guitars that I play, but I don't listen to the heavy metal that I used to because the lyrics are so dark and awful uh, that I can't listen to them anymore. But these men, Striper, came out when I was addicted to heavy metal and they used heavy metal to kind of 
preach a, a different kind of message. And the music that Striper sings is not as dark as music like Judas Priest and Metallica and the Scorpions and ACDC and, and bands like that that I used to listen to. But still, Striper, these men are not Christians. These men have, you know, they came out with, with uh, spandex tights on and long hair like women and had jewelry hanging out of their ears and jumping up and down on, on stage and doing basically the same thing that rock stars do except just singing about, you know, putting Jesus in their lyrics instead of putting um, crack cocaine in their lyrics. So they basically took the music from the world and they pasted Jesus' name onto it and they, they entered into a genre called Christian metal, which is a, a very profitable part of the music industry. And indeed, these men are preaching a more positive message than most rock bands out there, uh, which is a good thing, but let's not get confused and pretend that they're Christians because they're not. Okay, and they may genuinely believe that they're Christians because maybe they accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior and they go to a church that teaches them certain parts of the Bible, but they're not Christians. They're not baptized in Jesus' name. They're not filled with the Holy Ghost and they don't understand holiness. They can't see the kingdom of God. If they did, they wouldn't be doing what they were doing. And the same thing with, quote, Christian rap. Uh, Christian metal is entertainment for sinners that causes them to believe that they're Christians. Okay, because back then, when I was listening to Striper, I accepted Jesus Christ into my heart. I wore a cross around my neck. Um, I had long hair like a woman. Um, I had a stack of pornography under my bed. Um, I smoked cigarettes. I did drugs. Um, not long before that, I was an alcoholic. Um, and, and all these things I did, but I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, and I listened to Striper, and I thought that I was a Christian. And these men of Striper were preaching their message to me in the music that because I believe in Jesus Christ I am a Christian okay so they're preaching a message that's more positive than the, than, the, than the secular rock bands but they're not Christian at all because I wasn't a Christian and they were causing me to believe falsely that I was and that's what Christian metal does and that's what Christian rap does that's what the mainstream churches do okay Christian rap is an oxymoron these men in these videos are not godly men. They, as I said in my letter to this young disciple, they walk like primates, monkeys. Why do they do that? Okay, just because the color of your skin is browner than mine, it doesn't mean that you have to walk like a monkey. When you walk like a monkey, it's because you're filled with devils. It's because you're possessed of someone other than yourself who is teaching you to walk like that. You're not a monkey. You're a man. Okay, and if you're a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to wear clothes that fit. So. You know, so your nakedness isn't exposed in public. It's amazing to me when I drive around and I see kids with their pants pulled down, with their buttocks exposed. If you know, if that were me and my pants were pulled down so my buttocks were exposed, I would be ashamed to be out in public. I'd be embarrassed that people would see that. But kids today aren't embarrassed, and, and because their father, the devil, dresses them that way, and they think it's cool. But it looks ridiculous. It makes you look like a clown. And that's what these kids in these rap videos, they do. And they, 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 they flash gang hand signs and they, the looks on their faces are proud and, and they're scowling at you like this. And they think that that's cool. Let me take my glasses off so you can see my eyes. They're like this. You know, and, they, and the people that watch these rap videos, they do that with their neck. and they, You can watch ten of them that are watching it and they'll all be doing the same thing because they're hypnotized. See? And the people in these rap videos, they, they insert the name of Jesus every once in a while, and they insert the word sin every once in a while, and they think that because they've said a prayer and accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, that they're saved. And they wear big diamond-studded crosses around their necks to mock the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ who died for them so that they could be saved. And they refuse the gospel of salvation and, and adhere to a false gospel that can't save them. And they entertain sinners with this wickedness and because that they're entertaining sinners with this wickedness and putting the name of Jesus in it then these sinners that are being entertained falsely believe that they are Christians when they're not and if you are a Christian if you have the Spirit of Christ in you and if you don't have the Spirit of Christ in you you're not a Christian okay uh, you can't be a Christian without Christ and if you have the Spirit of Christ in you which is when you have received the gift of the Holy Ghost and you speak with other tongues and prophesy you're baptized in Jesus name buried with him in baptism 
Okay? You, you've been dead, buried, and risen from the dead again, and you don't desire the things that you used to desire when you were in the world, and so you can't look at these men acting like monkeys with proud scowls on their faces, grabbing their private parts, and acting like dogs, looking to, looking to mate with somebody, and, and, and insulting the Lord Jesus Christ with big gaudy crosses hanging around their necks and big dollar signs hanging around their necks and gang colors on and flashing gang signs and walking like, like monkeys, you can't look at that and think, oh yeah, that man's a Christian, he's talking about Jesus. When you look at that as a Christian, all you can think is, man, I can't believe that people really think that those people are Christians. Okay, Christians don't act like that. Christians don't walk like that. Can you picture Jesus Christ walking like a monkey? Or flashing hand signs, or giving that proud scowl like the like the rappers do, or moving his body to that satanic beat, like it sounds like 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 headhunters on a deserted island somewhere. Well, that doesn't make any sense. If it was deserted, there wouldn't be anybody on it. But you know what I mean. Okay, there's no such thing as Christian rap. Okay, so don't send me Christian rap videos and say, what about this one? What about that one? This man preaches the truth. That man, no, those men are not preaching the truth. Okay, if they were preaching the truth, they wouldn't have rap uh, noise in the background. They wouldn't be acting like monkeys. They wouldn't be rhyming their words all the time. They would be speaking as the oracles of God. They would be preaching the truth in love. Okay, Jesus Christ didn't send his people forth to go rhyming the gospel to anybody. He sent his people forth to preach the gospel to every creature. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And he that believeth not shall be damned. That's what he said. Okay, so it's not for us as Christians to entertain sinners and try to draw them in. It's for us as Christians to preach the Word of God and let the Word of God draw who it will and drive away who it will. The Word of God is a sword. It's a double-edged sword. And when you speak the Word of God, it will drive away those who, who choose not to hear it. And it will draw those whom God has called. Okay, so it's not for you and me to find some sort of entertainment to draw as many people as we can. It's for us to speak the word of God faithfully and let God's word draw his true ones to him. And that way we have the true disciples who are called of the Lord Jesus Christ because he said, No man can come unto me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. He said, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So don't believe these entertainers when they pretend to be Christians and they put on rap shows or heavy metal shows or, or whatever other kind of religious shows they put on, which are the same kind of entertainment as the world, just with Jesus' name stapled to it. Don't buy that. Don't buy into that. Seek the Lord. Serve the Lord. Do what He says. Preach His word the way He says to preach it. A lot of people are going to come to you and say, man, you can't preach like that. you got to preach this way. you got to preach this way. You know the psychology of people is like this. And if you want to get more disciples, you got to preach this way. Don't even listen to that garbage. That's nonsense. We are not trying to draw people in. We are preaching the Word of God so that God's Word can draw in those who it will, those whom it will. Okay, the sower soweth the Word. Matthew chapter 13, Luke chapter 8, Mark chapter 4. This is where you'll find how to preach the Gospel of Jesus Christ as well as many other places in the Bible. If I preach the Word of God to you and you don't like it, it's not my problem and I'm not going to cry about it. Okay, because God's Word has gone forth and it will do what it is called to do, it will not return to him void. Okay, if I preach God's word to you and you love it and you want more and you draw near unto him, that's wonderful. Praise the Lord, I'm here for you. Okay, but I'm not going to try to entertain you as a sinner to try to get you to be my friend, to try to get you to come to my church. Okay, that's not what Christians do, that's what entertainers do. So I hope that that has clarified things a bit. Uh, and um, it's not my intention to insult anybody. If you're offended at the things that I've spoken in this video, I don't believe that I've said anything that I need to apologize for. Um, if I have, please call my attention to it, and I will. But I'm not going to apologize for the truth, and I've spoken the truth in this video. So if you feel that I need correction on anything, then feel free to bear witness of my error and offer correction from the Scripture, and I'll receive that. Otherwise, I hope that you'll receive these things as they are, truth from the Word of God. and. Um, and I love you. I'm here for you. You're welcome to write to me if you like. Just don't write with profanity because I'm not going to converse with that and it will appear on my channel. But if you can converse with me in a, in a polite and respectful way, I'll give you that same respect. Indeed, because that's what you deserve and that's what I'm called to do, to honor all men. Okay, so my name is Clinton. Thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully you'll be seeing my face more and more.